Hello YouTubers, I thought I'd do an update video um, on the capturing process from these Digital 8 cameras so if you're capturing any Video 8, Hi8 or Digital 8 this is how I do it. Uh, there's a few models I own but this is the my favourite, the TRV410. Uh, now the good thing about these particular models is, um, well this particular model, is it can play all the three formats of 8mm so we're talking Video 8, Hi8 and Digital 8. So these are one of the better ones and they will typically go for sort of 150 to 200 pounds on eBay, but um, you know, they go for a mixture of prices. If you get lucky, you get lucky. Now, so this is the situation most of you are gonna be finding yourself in. Um, this is an ideal for, time for me to do this. This has uh, replaced my old iMac, which was six years old. My sister's got that now. But this is my new MacBook Pro. This is a 2023 model. Uh, and it being of that time, there is no way for this to go into that directly with one cable. The cable that a lot of people ask for, which is what comes out of this camera, is the Firewire. The smaller size, I think it's called, it's called the 4-pin. Um, but regardless, is that in focus? I can't tell. Uh, it's the smaller connection. And that has long since gone from the computer. Um, so these are the two adapters that Apple sell. Now, um, about six years ago, so before my iMac um, that I had then, the one but prior to that, you only needed one of those. So at that point it was, I believe it was this one way around, which was um, Thunderbolt to Firewire 800. And with that you could use a 800 pin Firewire going to the smaller one. Uh, and that would just be enough. But now, <laughs> because technology keeps changing, um, that goes in there still and that's as I say used to be the way and I could just do it that way but now we have to go even more conversion uh, because we're run now running with USB-C so if we turn that, that way around there we go so it will still work or hopefully it will still work it works on my MacBook Pro and um, my Mac so it should still work on here but now yeah it's getting a bit janky and long but it's how it goes USB-C in here listen to the click we're now in and now the camcorder part uh, allow accessory to connect oh yeah okay so it's come up with a message to say allow um, so firewire on the camera here uh, oh no it's around the front on this model it's down in here in this corner is the very prep sort of very delicate four pin firewire. It wasn't a great connection. I mean, it was in terms of what it did, but it was, um, you need to be looking after it. Now it's worth noting, because I noted in previous comments, with, uh, previous videos before, always connect this when the camera is off. Doesn't matter about the computer, make sure it's turned off. The battery can be on there, but have the power off. Now the reason for doing that, despite it being supposedly a hot swappable, connection like USB you can just sort of normally plug it and get away with it. You can and if you're lucky it's fine but it's really not worth the risk. It actually does state it. I've read it in at least one Sony manual that Sony recommended it was powered off. The reason being is it can cause a short because if this is on and this is on it will make a spark and that can be detrimental to the connection and kill it. Kill it stone dead and then you've got a big old problem because these are not something that you can send off to Sony and get replaced anymore. So Camera's off, we're plugging it in. Trying to plug it in. <laughs> right, okay, so we're now connected to the 2023 MacBook Pro. And all going to well, this should now show up. Let's, this cable's a bit more sorted, but zoomed out all the way, yep. Yeah. Turn the camera onto uh, video mode. So we'll be able to see what you're doing with your camera anyway, but. Yeah, put it into VCR mode. The lights will come on the top if you've got a camera like mine. Okay, so we've got Firewire, we're connected. Now, I use Final Cut because that's what I use as my video editor. It's paid for and I've got it and it's a great service in terms of you pay it once and it's done for life. However, you don't need to spend 300 pounds on Final Cut. QuickTime Player will do equally do uh, a good job of capturing these. So let's just bring up QuickTime. And if this connection has worked, it should show it. So we'll click on File, New Movie Recording. And then from the inputs, it default goes to the webcam. Um, yes, indeed, it is showing. So if I... So here you go, as you can see, I've got the camera connected and it is indeed showing it. 
DCR TRV410. So from here I could put in a tape, press play on the video camera and it would play into the computer absolutely fine. So it goes to show you can still do this in 2023. You can capture your precious old memories on a camera like this to a Mac. Now if you've got a Windows based system, it's um, Obviously you won't be using these adapters, but you'd have the same problem. Now the good thing about PCs is you can rip one open or if you've got a PC tower and stick in a Firewire card in 2023, it's still feasible to do. I believe Windows still supports it. Um, but yeah, that's the joys of Windows computers versus Macs. It's sort of, you can open it and chuck things in. If you've got a laptop, then you're gonna be looking at uh, different options. Now I must make it clear all those fake cables from USB to Firewire do not exist. If it was a thing, they wouldn't have bothered with Firewire. Firewire was created for video. It was a higher speed connection and it was gave the ability to capture raw DV video and camera video uh, footage in general. The USB things that are going Firewire, they are a scam. I believe they were uh, able to do certain things, but it had nothing to do with video capturing. It cannot be done. USB 2 was too slow. Now, uh, in 2023, there will be USB devices which give you better sort of capturing wise uh, than you would have gotten in the past, but definitely it will not be as good as DV uh, because that's giving you digital out versus USB, which will be analog, unless there's some sort of converter you can find. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just show this. That's how easy it is to do. You don't need to spend the money. QuickTime is included with Mac. And uh, as long as you've got those two converters, which admittedly are about £30 each, as I remember, I've had them a good few years now, um, they uh, do the job. And then once you've done it, you've done it, and you can use QuickTime for free. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show this video. Uh, hopefully, it's helpful to you. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.